Despite being more than 100 miles from the U.S.-Mexico border, hundreds of thousands of migrants have made their way to San Antonio during the past two years. So we decided to come here to see how they handled that surge and what other cities might be able to learn from what they did here. For more than 175 years, it is a great thing to work together. The congregation of Travis Park Church, better things can, can come about, served as a refuge for all who seek their help. We've seen waves of crises and uh, we mitigate those and manage those as we need. Gavin Rogers is associate pastor here and director of Corazon San Antonio. It's ministry that normally serves people experiencing homelessness. Corazon Clinic's been going around for 25 years. But in the past several years, they've taken on an additional mission. We started serving migrants and, and asylum seekers that were coming through San Antonio that have been either released uh, from detention or have been given a temporary asylum. In San Antonio, that's added up to helping a lot of migrants, hundreds of thousands since 2019. And at Travis Park Church. Since 2019, uh, we've helped uh, sleep uh, over 33,000 people in the Sunday school classrooms and in different rooms here at the church and helped even thousands of more during the day get to the right places. Uh, and we're this small little entity. But they are a critical one. When the most recent surge at the border began, the city of San Antonio established a migrant resource center. That effort pulled together several area nonprofits, including Catholic Charities, the Food Bank, and Travis Park Church, among others. The services that we offer here are a place to wait, uh, Wi Fi, food. Um, showers um, and transportation. Alex Obregón helps migrants coming through the doors here. So there's a lot of emotions with it. Yeah, it is a lot. I mean, I think even uh, being here and doing the work sometimes it can be hard to process. The result? A relatively smooth process in handling their migrant surge. And a far cry from how larger cities have dealt with it, like New York City, whose mayor, Eric Adams, recently traveled to visit the border in El Paso. Our cities are being undermined. And we don't deserve this. Migrants don't deserve this. And the people who live in the cities don't deserve this. I really encourage him to come and see how San Antonio is doing it because I think it's a better model than just going to border towns because uh, cities of San Antonio uh, experience this type of traffic and know how to treat those in need especially our, our siblings that are experiencing asylum. All happening in a city that's become a migration hub in America. Maya Rodriguez, Scripps News, San Antonio.